All right, so finally, those big changes that we've been waiting for for quite some time. It looks like uh, they're about to be here. Not about to. We're going to have a nice stretch of weather before this, but I think by this time next uh, week, we're going to be shivering a little bit. We're going to be <laughs> maybe needing umbrellas, and if you're headed to the mountains, maybe some chains, and we'll just have to see how it all materializes. But right now, it's looking pretty good. Nice. Closing the windows and turning on the heat. For sure, for sure. Here's kind of the three bullet points as I see it right now for next week's what we're calling a pattern change. Widespread rain Wednesday through Friday and that's right high elevation snow is possible highs on Tuesday get this in the 80s our highs on Thursday 48 hours after that will likely not get out of the 60s 51 the morning low today in Tucson 37 Safford 34 in Douglas our average low 47 so once again average lows running somewhere close within five degree tolerance of where they should be average high however 82 well, that's the actual high. Average high is 75, so 7 degrees above average on that accord. Live look outside from our News 4 Tucson HD Skynet camera. 74 degrees. Skies are star-filled. They're clear tonight. 18% the relative humidity. North-northwest winds at 5 miles per hour. Already cooling through the 60s in Sabino Canyon. 70 west siders. It's currently 71 degrees up in Marana. In the Cochise and Santa Cruz County, it's uh, already chilly in Wilcox, 59, 62 in Douglas, and 65 in Sonoida. Next several hours look like this. 60s for a good chunk of the evening through about 10 o'clock or so. 50s show up by 11 o'clock, and then mid-50s hovering by 1, 2 a.m. So as John was mentioning, maybe windows open tonight, and maybe close them if you're up uh, really early tomorrow morning because it might be pretty chilly. Tomorrow's story will be similar to today. We will see more clouds in the sky, however, but daytime highs uh, not going to struggle really to get out of the 70s and I think low 80s for most of us as high pressure does its thing, kind of warms us up here over the desert southwest, and we will see those clouds uh, from Southern California start to move on in. Western states look pretty clear. South looks very soggy and some snow across sections of New England. Uh, snow on the ground across much of the Midwest, but not snowing there tonight. And temperatures, I mean, look at the, all the blues on the weather map. This is looking very much like a December or even January weather pattern, but we are still in the month of November after all and feeling even perhaps more like October here in Tucson. And that will be the case as a series of high pressures kind of set up over shop here over the course of the next couple of days. What happens early to middle portion of next work week, this area of low pressure cuts off, turns us breezy, yes, lowers those clouds, lowers those snow levels, and gives us rain chances, and those temperatures coming down as well. Here's your forecast, so short term for tonight, low 50s for lows, partly cloudy tomorrow, daytime highs within a couple degrees of 80 for most of the city of Tucson, mid 30s, Wilcox, upper 30s, Benson, so sections of Cochise County, certainly cool, daytime highs for you into the 70s. Here it is, your seven day forecast, 81 tomorrow, 82 on Saturday, 82 Sunday, weekend looking glorious, 84 on Monday, Tuesday, 82, and a 40 to 50% chance of rain next Wednesday and Thursday. Daytime highs on Wednesday, 70, 65 on Thursday for a high temperature with valley rain. Snow could be flying on the mountaintops, Paul Cicala. Let's head up to Mount Lemon, my friend. All right, we are about...